If you're looking to buy the iPhone 14, then I suggest getting the iPhone 14 Pro or Pro Max, which I have right here, because this phone offers tons of new features like the dynamic island and other improvements that the standard iPhone 14 and previous iPhones don't have. With that being said, I'm gonna be walking through all the new features and improvements that come with this new iPhone 14 Pro, and at the end of this video, you can decide if you think it's worth it, so let's dive right into it. The best and newest feature is the addition of the dynamic island, which is located right here at the top of my screen. And the dynamic Island is a combination of hardware and software that will bubble up when you activate certain features on your iPhone. And to start off this video, I want to show you a little bit about how this works. So for example, I'm going to connect to my AirPod Pro second generation. As you see, once I put my AirPod in my ear, you're going to see the dynamic island bubble up just like that to show that they're connecting to my iPhone at the moment. You're going to see that these are now connected to my phone right here through the dynamic islands, even going to tell me the percentage of battery left with these AirPods. But there's tons of features with the dynamic island that I want to show you so let's dive right into all of them since we are on the clock app I actually want to show you a cool feature that's linked with the dynamic island I mentioned earlier in this video and I want to show you how this comes into action for example when we start a timer right here so if we want to start a timer for 30 minutes and we click start right here if we exit the app you're gonna see the dynamic island come into action with this timer so if I exit out you're gonna see right here on the top of my iPhone with the dynamic island it's actually gonna show me how much time I have left on that timer right here at the top of my screen, which I think is a super cool feature for the iPhone 14. And if we click on it again, it's gonna take us to the timer and that clock app. So this is one feature that is really cool with the dynamic island and the clock app on your iPhone 14. You exit out and now you're gonna see your timer at all times when you're doing other stuff on your iPhone. And it is super cool and I wanted to show you guys that, but let's go back to the control center now. I also wanna show you another feature with the dynamic island on this iPhone 14, because I think it is so cool. So say you wanna play a song, for example, if I go to my playlist, and click this song. I'm just going to turn down the volume so we don't hear it. And if we exit out of the music app, you're going to see right at the top, it's going to show that music playing through my home screen on my iPhone, not on the music app. So I think this is super cool and you can actually see what you're listening to right here at the dynamic island. And if you want to go back to that, you just tap that right here. It's going to take you back to the music app, showing you the song right here. Then if we exit out and then hold down again, you're going to be able to have the option to click and go to different songs that are on your playlist as well. And you also have the option if you click right here, you're going to choose what that audio is going to come out of. Right now, it's only my iPhone, but if you have a pair of headphones, it'll come out of those as well. And if we go back right here, you're going to see you can skip, go back, pause, and then you can do anything you want essentially with this dynamic island and your iPhone. I think it's super cool and it's really going to come into action when you start using your music, receiving notifications, calls, FaceTimes, whatever that may be, you can use that with the dynamic island on your iPhone 14. Also a new feature specifically for the iPhone 14 and iPhone 14 Pro is that the screen's always on display. So instead of your phone screen shutting off, the lock screen will always be glanceable so you can see any updates without having to tap anything at all. It's just going to be darker as as you can see right now. But when I pick up my phone like this, you're gonna see it starts to get brighter and goes back to that normal display. So this is a brand new feature on the iPhone 14, but also keep in mind that when it's in my pocket or face down, the screen will go black. So you can save battery, which is something I definitely recommend doing, but this is a great feature for the iPhone 14. It's always gonna be glanceable unless it's in your pocket or it's facing down. iPhone 14 also introduces an all day battery life, which is a brand new feature for this new phone and it allows up to 23 hours of video playback for the iPhone 14 Pro that I have. And I believe it's 29 hours of video playback for the iPhone 14 Pro Max. So this is a great new battery addition for the iPhones. It stays supercharged. And remember, you can always just charge it using this right here or using a magnetic charger with a MagSafe compatibility on the back of your screen. But as you can see right now, we have our battery icon right here. And if I scroll down to my control center, you're gonna see it shows the battery percentage. But if you don't wanna see that and you wanna see the specific number right off the bat, you can actually changes in settings. So if we go to settings to change our battery, it's super easy to do. You just go down to battery right here and it's going to show these options you can choose from. We have battery percentage, which is turned off. But if I turn that on, what I was saying is now you can see the number of that battery percentage right here on this battery icon. It shows 94. I definitely recommend this because in previous iOS updates, they actually show the percentage and they took it away after that. But with iOS 16, you can now have this option to show the battery percentage again. And I like to have that on so I can just see the number so I get an idea of when I need to charge it. Then as I'm sure you guys are all aware, you know of a low power mode, which will turn on and actually help you save battery 
when your phone's starting to get low and you don't have a charger available to charge your phone at the moment. So using the camera on the iPhone 14 is pretty self-explanatory. You have all these other options to choose from between photo, portrait, panoramic, video, whatever mode you want, you can essentially choose on your camera. And like I said, every year the iPhone gets a better camera. And this time around, the iPhone 14 actually has a 65% larger sensor than the iPhone 13 Pro. So now you can capture anything with better sensor and quality when taking videos or photos. It's super cool. And I love using the cameras on the iPhone because they do a great job at capturing all the depth and displays that you take pictures of. With this iPhone, you can actually take a 24 frames per second video, which is standard to the film industry and taking movies and directing movies that are actually in Hollywood. So it's super cool and actually has a great quality. So if you want to take a video, you actually will see all the high quality that it displays with this new camera on the iPhone 14, but it's pretty self-explanatory on how to use the camera app. All these options to choose from. If you want to turn on flash, you just click that right here. Tons of options you can choose from, but it's pretty cool to check out the camera app and I definitely recommend doing it. So as I previously mentioned, Apple created a new way to go with SIM cards called eSIM. Now, essentially what eSIM does, it allows you to conveniently and securely activate cellular service without needing a physical SIM card. So you no longer have to transfer your previous old SIM card into your new iPhone. Your eSIM is stored digitally on your iPhone and it reduces the risk of physical damage loss, which is a great improvement for SIM cards and usage of these on your new phone. So we have two options right here, transfer from another iPhone or set up later in settings. I'm just gonna transfer to another iPhone right now and I'm gonna transfer my number. And after you put in a few minor details like your card information and all those, It'll take you to this page where it says emergency SOS. Now this is a brand new feature for Apple products like the new iPhone 14 and the Apple Watch. And essentially what emergency SOS is, is the iPhone's ready to help in any emergency. So you can press and hold for emergency SOS. All you have to do is just press and hold the side button and either volume button to make an emergency call. We have crash detection. So if the phone detects a severe car crash, it will automatically try and call emergency services. And also coming in fall 2022, they have emergency SOS via satellite which is also very new. And when available in select countries, the iPhone can try to text emergency services to the satellite if it cannot connect to cellular. So if you're in a situation, if you're lost, for example, you can actually contact a satellite and you'll be able to send out messages that way, which I think is super innovative and super helpful in certain scenarios. So definitely set this up and let's click continue right here. You'll also notice on the iPhone 14 and iOS 16, the notifications now appear at the bottom of the screen opposed to covering all the nice displays that you create on the wallpapers. So as you can see, it's located right here. I definitely prefer this way so they're out of my way when I'm looking at my screen, but there's actually a way you can change to go back to the original way notifications were shown. And I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. We just gotta go to settings right here. And once we're on settings, it's super easy to do. You just wanna go to notifications right here. And as you can see, I have it in list view right here, but you can choose between stack or count. I prefer keeping it as list the way it is. As I can see, my notifications are at the bottom, which are out of the way. So I definitely prefer this, but if you prefer the old way, you can choose any of these options as well. So for example, we have list right now, but I want to show you what the other ones look like. So if we click list for or count, for example, and we go back to my wallpaper, you're going to see I have a tab that says one notification opposed to actually showing the notification. And if we just tap that right here, then the notification is going to pop up. So it's completely out of your way. I prefer the other way, but this is completely up to you. And you can just edit this right in your notification center on your settings. If you're still using old fashioned, slow charging and messy lightning charging cables, it is time for you to say goodbye to those. Your phone has incredible MagSafe technology built right into it, which allows you to wirelessly and magnetically charge your devices. If you're going to invest so much money into an iPhone, then you should be giving yourself a premium experience, which all starts with something that you need to do every day, and that is charging your actual device. Get the absolute most out of your iPhone with Elgear's 2-in-1 Lightning Charging Stand. This stand allows you to magnetically and wirelessly charge both your iPhone and your AirPods simultaneously. Place your phone anywhere on the sleek charging stand and you're going to feel that magnet automatically attach right to your phone. Elgear wanted to make sure that you can use your phone for all of its uses without having to take it off the stand, which is why they included dual coil technology so you can use your phone both vertically and horizontally 
only in landscape mode. This means that you can still send your messages, emails, or anything else, or you can flip your phone sideways and watch your favorite videos and movies while your phone is still being charged in the background. This stand is made with the highest quality materials like metal and tempered glass, and they also put non-slip silicone on the bottom of the stand. Elgear used official MagSafe technology, so you never need to worry about your phone falling off the stand or having to fidget around with your phone to get it in the right position. As I already mentioned, this is a two-in-one lightning charging stand, so you can charge two devices at the same time by using the second wireless charger on the back of this stand. This is perfect for charging a pair of headphones or even a second iPhone. Wait no longer and finally go upgrade your charging experience by going to lgear.com, stop using those old fashioned slow charging and messy lightning cables and upgrade to the two in one lightning charging stand that's perfect for your desk or your nightstand and it's also being sold at an incredibly discounted rate. So go to lgear.com, the links on the screen and down in the description, enjoy. So first, if you wanna edit your lock screen that you currently have, all you have to do is just hold down on it like this and you can click customize right here. So now we have tons of options to choose from, like changing the font, the color, and adding certain widgets. So for example, if I want to change the color of my text right here, I can just click on that and I can choose the font and color. They have offered tons of fonts, like all of these right here, tons to choose from. And then you can also slide to choose different colors you want for that specific font. You can choose all of these colors right here and say you don't want to choose any of those colors. You can always just go to this ring right here and choose from a spectrum, grid, or sliders. So say for example, I wanna choose a red slider. I can just always move this up or down depending on my preference. And this is one of the colors you can choose, but there's tons to choose from. You can essentially edit your lock screen in any way with all of these colors. And you can also choose what widgets you want to be shown on your lock screen. Right now you can see I have my calendar, the weather, and my battery percentage for my iPhone. But if we tap right here, you're gonna see all the widgets you can add and remove. So say I wanna remove my weather, for example, and I wanna add my alarm clock instead, I can just click that right here and now my 7:45 a.m alarm is going to pop up right on my lock screen then if you want more options to choose from you can choose any of these that you prefer tons of widgets to choose from and i definitely recommend trying them and personalize it to your needs and you can also choose the color of your lock screen so right now we have deep purple which is the color of the iphone that i got but if we just swipe over you're going to see we have gold silver and space black. And if we click these three dots down here, you have the option to have a depth effect as well. This will just show it in more detail, which I definitely recommend because it has an incredible display. And if we click done right here, you're gonna see this option as well. We have the option to set the wallpaper as a pair. So this will be the color and display of my lock screen and my home screen as well. And say you wanna customize your home screen in a different way, there's no worries there. You can actually choose a different option for your home screen, but I'll dive into that later. Now, if you wanna create a new lock screen or switch between lock screens you also all you have to do is just hold down your lock screen you can see i have tons i've already created but if we want to create a new one you can either click this plus button or swipe right here and click add new so by adding new there's tons of wallpapers to choose from we have anywhere from photo shuffle emoji and the featured i'm going to walk you through some of my favorites right now so one of the coolest options i think is the emoji option so you can actually have emojis as your background of your lock screen if you scroll down to this emoji section right here they're going to give you a few that they recommend all of these options, but if you wanna create your own, you just scroll back up to the top like this, click emoji, and now you can choose any emoji that you want and that you like and add that as your lock screen. So for example, this was a combination of emojis I used to create this lock screen right here, and I put it in a blue background, but you can essentially edit your emojis in any way and choose from the options they give you, like this one, for example. Completely up to you, but this is a brand new feature on the wallpapers with iOS 16 that I definitely recommend checking out. And if we go back to create new, I also wanna show you one of my other favorites, which is also the photo shuffle. So with photo shuffle, it's essentially a dynamic set of photos that shuffle as you use your iPhone through the day and you can actually change the shuffle frequency so i have mine set to hourly but you can change this right here by choosing on tap lock hourly or daily so i want to do on tap for example and they give me recommended photos to use so let's click use featured photos right here so now this is the first photo in my photo shuffle and if i want to tap i can see all the other photos that are going to be featured in this photo shuffle as you can see apple chose the best pictures i have taken to have as my background i included nature and cities 
And then also on top of this, if you want to add any widgets or change the font, you can definitely do that as well. And now every time you use this photo shuffle, every time you tap your screen, it's going to change that lock screen right here. And say you don't want all of these photos that are shown to be featured in this photo shuffle, you can click these three dots right here and you can actually have this photo specifically not featured and you can turn that off. So now this photo won't be featured and you can choose which ones you want to have featured on this lock screen, which I think is super cool. And all these photos are great. So I definitely recommend trying that if you like taking photos and have some high quality ones, you can choose the black and white option, duo tone, color wash, any of these options you can choose from with your lock screen on your iPhone and iOS 16. I wanna show you a few of my options that I've created with this lock screen. So for example, if I swipe right, I actually created a Jon Snow one from Game of Thrones, which I think is super cool for all those Game of Thrones fans out there. I have tons of options I wanna choose from. I have this generic one that they give me. Any iPhone wallpaper you wanna choose, you can essentially add, it's gonna look very nice with a high quality display and great aesthetics on this lock screen for iPhone 14s with iOS 16. So depending on the lock screen that you have turned on, at the moment and set to on your iPhone, you can actually choose a focus mode for that specific wallpaper. So for example, if we hold down this icon right here or this wallpaper, you're gonna see this little tab down here that says focus. So if we click on that, now you can link a certain focus mode with this specific lock screen. For example, say I want for this specific lock screen, I want do not disturb linked with this. So I can turn this on. So now whenever I'm on this specific lock screen, my phone's gonna be in do not disturb mode. As you can see at the bottom of my screen, it says do not disturb. But say I want to have a different lock screen signal, a different focus mode. If I hold down my phone again and go to this one, for example, and click focus, now I can have this one in sleep mode. So now whenever I go to sleep, I set my phone to this specific wallpaper, and now it's going to be in sleep mode for this specific wallpaper when I want to go to bed. And you can do this with any of your wallpapers that you have. You can just choose a focus mode by linking that and clicking that right here and just choose whichever one you want on your iPhone 14. I'm going to turn this off for now. But whenever you want to link a focus mode, just know you can do that with the lock screen if you have your phone updated to iOS 16 on your iPhone 14. And for sleep mode, as you saw, I linked this specific lock screen with sleep mode on my iPhone 14. And if you click this icon right here, you're going to see I have sleep turned on until tomorrow at 745. Now, I only turn this on at night. So when it actually comes to 745 a.m. in the morning, it'll actually shut off sleep mode and my phone will be back to normal with its normal screen, just like this. So for example, so if you like to spend time on your phone before you go to bed, but you know it's time to go to sleep, you can just turn on the sleep icon right here. Your phone's going to go black and it's going to ask you if you want to go in to go on your phone before doing so because you're in sleep mode. So I definitely recommend turning that on before you go to bed. It's very helpful when going to bed. And also if you pair this with night mode, like I previously showed you in the control center, you can actually prevent any eye damage and get a great night's sleep with the help of your iPhone 14. Also, just remember you can go to the control center and choose any of these options right here through that. But this is a little bit about the do not disturb modes you can choose on your iPhone 14 with iOS 16. You can always create a new focus mode right here and you can choose specific categories you wanna focus on. You can custom, driving, fitness, gaming, anything you wanna do, you can actually create a focus mode for that specific focus on your iPhone 14. So we'll dive into that later, but that's one way you can edit and customize your focus mode in your control center or on your lock screen with your iPhone 14. Now, the next app I wanna show you is one that's already pre-installed when you get your iPhone 14, and that is the Contacts app. Now, you're probably wondering why I'm showing you the Contacts app as one of our favorite apps for the iPhone 14, but with iOS 16, the Contacts app actually offers a brand new feature that I wanted to show you all, and I think it is super cool. So if we go to Contacts right here, you're gonna see it's a normal Contacts app that you've seen throughout the years with your iPhone, but right here, this is the brand new feature I wanna talk about where it says four duplicates found. So with the Contacts app now with iOS 16, you can actually merge duplicate cards for a contact and combine the cards, keeping all the unique information in a single card for that specific contact. So now when you have multiple contacts that are under the same information, you can actually merge those so it doesn't take up any data or storage on your iPhone. So let's check it out. If we click view duplicates right here, you're going to see four contacts that I found and I can merge them all together. So there's no more data and less contacts you have right on your list. So let's click merge all, for example, right here and let's click merge duplicates. So now all of those duplicate contacts that I had in my iPhone are now merged together. So there's no need to worry about having the same contact with the same information more than once on your iPhone 14. And this is a brand new feature I wanted to show you on the Contacts app, but let's move on to the next app now. So texting using iMessage on your iPhone is pretty self-explanatory, and I'm sure you all have a good idea of how to use it. But with iOS 16, there's some brand new features on the iOS update that you can actually use with text message. And one of those is to be able to unsend or edit text messages after you send them. And I wanna show you how to do this because it's 
it's about time they brought this feature to text message. I think it's super cool and it's very useful. So I wanna show you how this works. So if I type in hi right now and click send, all I have to do is just hold down on that sent message and I have the option to undo send or edit send. So I'm gonna click undo send right here. And now that's gonna disappear and the person I sent that message to, they won't see that text message either. It will be completely erased. It says you unsent a message. So if they're not updated to iOS 16, they still might be able to see the message. But by this time, I'm sure everyone's gonna be updated to iOS 16 soon enough. So they won't be able to see that unsent message. But I also wanna show you how to edit a text message as well. So say I type hi again and like that, and then I hold down on that button again, I can actually edit this message and change what I wanna say. So I can say, hi, how are you instead? And now that text message will be edited and I just click send right here. And now it's gonna be edited. It's gonna show that it's been edited and it might show that on the person you sent that to as well. But this is how you can unsend and edit a text message on iMessage. Like I said, I'm glad they brought this feature to the iPhone. It's about time. It comes in very handy if you mess up a message or need to unsend something. And say someone sends you a message in a different language or if you wanna translate your text message to a different language, you can do that as well on iMessage. All you have to do is hold down this text and go to translate right here. And now you can choose what language you wanna choose right now. We have Spanish right now, where it's gonna say, hola, como estas, based on hi, how are you? You can copy this translation, you can choose a different language, and you can add to favorites or open and translate itself. And you can definitely do this any way you want with this iMessage and just translate any text message or see what they're saying in a different language through this feature on your iMessage app on your iPhone 14. Right now, we're looking at one of the photos I took of my Apple Watch. And with iOS 16 and my iPhone 14, you can actually lift a subject from that photo and and send that without sending the background. And this might be confusing at first, but I wanna show you how this works. So you're gonna see if I hold down on the Apple Watch, it's gonna lift from the background here. And if I let go, I'm gonna have the option to copy this right here. Now I wanna show you what this is all about. If I go to my text messages right here and then go to this specific person and click paste right here, it's gonna show the iPhone or the Apple Watch that I lifted from that photo without the background and I can send that to this specific person without having to show the background. This is a super cool feature that is brand new on iOS 16 and it's a way you can just lift certain subjects from that photo so you can have that shown without the background. I think it's super cool. Now you can get to see this without the background. I definitely enjoy it. It's a brand new feature for iOS 16 that I definitely recommend trying out. Also scan certain texts and subjects from photos using your text message as well. And I wanna show you how to do this. If we hold down right here and click this right here, this icon, you're gonna see that my camera pops up and say I wanna scan a certain text of an object that I have, like this deodorant right here. All I have to do is just put my camera right here and now you can see that Harry's pops up, which is the name of this product. All I have to do is now that this has popped up in my text message, I can just click send right here. And if I wanna scroll down and choose odor or sweat control as well, I can choose that and just click send as well right here. And this is one way you can actually scan any products or text right from your camera on your iPhone 14. I definitely recommend trying that if you wanna show someone a product that you're buying or any other text that you wanna show on a picture, you can scan that and send them directly through your iMessage like I just did on my iPhone 14. I hope you enjoyed today's video. This was a complete beginner's guide covering the iPhone 14. And if you found this video helpful, make sure to drop a like and hit the subscribe button for more great content like this. I also encourage you guys to go to appfindvip.com and subscribe to our email newsletter to get the best mobile apps and games delivered directly to your email inbox. And also go give us a follow on our Instagram at appfindvip. We're gonna be showcasing the best tips, tricks, and hidden features on the iPhone 14 and all Apple and Android products out there. And I also encourage you guys to go to bestrewardsapps.com to see all these incredible apps like Quick Thoughts and Rakuten that allow you to earn incredible rewards and prizes right at your fingertips. These are all affiliates of ours and they're all great apps that are worth checking out. So definitely check out all these links, you guys. They're gonna be in the description of this video. So thank you guys for watching and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.